Okay, so today we're going to learn about the character panel in PhotoP. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our worksheets that we've downloaded. So I'm going to open up worksheet number one. This is your first one. So what you're going to do is you are going to um, this first this left side is just an example of what it should look like. Yours may be different because you might use a different font than they chose over here. Okay, but your work is going to go on this side. The first thing I want you to do is lock this layer in place. So you're going to click on your background layer and then you're going to click on this padlock. It will put a lock on that layer so it can't move around. Okay, so we're going to zoom in so we can see number one. All right, so number one tells us to pick a font type your name in 72 point font okay so easy we did this right with our name plate okay 72 point font and i'm going to choose something i'm just going to choose any font um go with garment so we'll click here and i'm just going to type my name Okay, so it gave us a nice serif font. So number two, I'm going to show you a trick. Number two says take your name from above and change the font to bold. So instead of retyping our name for each one of these, we're going to make a copy. So we're going to hold the Alt key while this is selected. Show your should look like this. You should have this bounding box around your name. I'm going to hold the Alt key click in my name and drag and this will make a copy i'm going to repeat that process and put it in each one of these so we are not going to do number seven because we don't have that option in photo p so go ahead and leave number seven blank now what we're going to do is go through each one of these and just change um, what it's asking us to do so i'm going to go to my type tool i'm going to highlight number two and it says change the font to bold. Okay, so of course we could always do it here, right? And that would make it bold. But if we don't have that option, sometimes we don't have that option with certain fonts, you're gonna open up your character panel, which is located right here. And we've got some options down here. So this first one, if you hover, is it gonna tell us what it does? No. Okay, so this first one is going to give us the bold option. This will make it bold. Okay, so this one will be italic, which you don't need to do. I'm just going through. This one is going to make everything a capital. So these lowercase letters will now be capitals. This one will make those lowercase letters smaller capitals. This one will give you a squared so if you're doing math equations okay this one will underline and this one will do strike through okay but it's only asking us to do bold so we're just going to choose this first one to make it bold all right number three is asking us to change the tracking to 100 so the tracking is the space between our characters so your tracking can be located right here oops Sorry, got ahead of the game. So it's asking us to change our tracking to 100. Okay, so let me redo that. Um, oh, darn it, okay, there we go. All right, so with my type selected, I'm gonna change my tracking to 100. So the tracking is the space between characters. The next one is, let's see. The next one is asking us to change our horizontal scale. Okay, so we're gonna select it. And we're gonna change our horizontal. So your scaling is here. This first one is your vertical, and this one is your horizontal. So if you hover above, it says scale horizontally. So we're gonna type in the number 150 and hit enter. So this makes it um, wider or fatter, okay? Gives us that fat font. 
So now we're going to scale it vertically 150. So if horizontal makes it fat, vertically is going to make it tall. Okay. Number, oops. My goodness. Okay. Number six is our last one. Let's move this up a little bit. Number six is asking us to shift some of the letters by 20. All right, so when it says baseline shift, this is your baseline right here, this line. Normally it's invisible, right? We can't see it. So when we shift a letter on our baseline, we're either gonna move it up or we're gonna move it down. So if I take my letter E and your baseline shift is right here, I'm going to type in the number 20 and it's gonna move it up. If I select my letter D and I put negative 20, it's going to bring it below that baseline. Okay. So that is worksheet number one. Just follow the simple directions using your character panel and save it. We're going to ex actually export it as a JPEG file so it'll flatten everything. All right, everything looks good. I'm going to hit save and it's going to be right here. You're going to turn that into Google Classroom.